Hi, my name is Derek Hyde, 24 years old, live in Worcester, BC, and I'm uh, going to show you how to do a backside indie, backside method, and a backside 540. First, you're going to approach your jump, whether it be a quarter pipe, half pipe, kick or whatever. Uh, approach your jump, knees bent, straight over your board so you're centered. Next, you're going to be hauling off the lip of the jump. You're going to be ready to turn your board 90 degrees along with your body. You're going to want your body to be horizontal and your head looking down towards your landing. Uh, at this point, you're going to be grabbing your board with your back hand uh, between your leg and uh, bone up the air. Uh, your upper body is going to want to be horizontal and you're going to want your head looking down at your landing. Uh, next step is uh, the landing. You're going to be watching your landing as you come down. Uh, this will give you the chance to either suck up your legs uh, because you're either going too far out or you know, extend your legs because you're about to land in the flats. So you're going to play with your feet to adjust to the wall so you come back down smooth and you don't wreck your knees. Three key points for this trick are to A, be centered over your board, keep your knees bent, bone out your front leg for stability, and to always be watching your landing. This next trick is a backside method air. Uh, you're going to be approaching the jump. Once again, knees bent. Center over your board. Next step is to ollie off the lip, and then you're going to be sucking your knees in. And you're going to be kicking your back leg out while grabbing in between your bodies with your front hand. The next step is your landing. You're going to be coming back in. You're going to have your back hand out for stability. And you're going to be watching, eyeing out your landing. Once again, sucking your knees in or pushing your legs out. So the three key steps for the backside method air are A, Keep your knees bent, center over your board. B, kick out your back leg, that'll give you stability. And C, always keep your eyes on the landing.
This next trick is a backside 540 with a mute grab. You're gonna approach the jump, knees bent, low to the ground. As you're approaching up the tranny, you're gonna start to twist your body around so you're looking back at your tail. And you're gonna spring off the lip of the jump. At that point, you're gonna be grabbing mute and your body is gonna be turning with your board following around. On this trick, you're not going to be really seeing your landing as you're coming around from a spin, so the landing's going to be blind. You're just going to have to be ready with your knees bent to suck up, land on the tranny right away, and get ready for the next wall. Three key steps. Always be looking at your tail. Where your head goes around, your body will follow. Now with practice, you'll be able to dial your landing. My name is Jesse Fulton. I'm going to show you how to do a front side rodeo platform. Come in with a lot of speed. Concentrate on the top of the lip. When you hit the top of the lip, lean back and grab your board. Then drop your front shoulder and look over it as if you were trying to look at your own bump. That will give you your sideways rotation. Once you come around and you can spot your landing, let go of your board, bend your knees, and stomp it out. The three keys to this trick are leaning back, holding your grab for the whole rotation, and dropping and looking over your front shoulder.
Hi, my name is Yearly Ricker. I'm going to show you how to do a switch front side spin. Start by keeping yourself nice and low. Keep your head focused on the lip. When you take off, look over your leading shoulder. Suck your board up into your hands. Grab, rotate, and look at your landing. Come down and right away towards the next hit. Three keys to this trick are keep yourself low, maintain adequate speed, and make sure that you give your body enough wind so that you can complete your rotation. Now I'm going to show you how to do a McTwist. Start by approaching the lip really low. Keep your head focused on the lip. When you take off the lip, don't extend. Look down at your back body with your head and spring off your tail. This will generate your momentum. Take your front hand, which is positioned right by your front binding, and move it around to just in front of your front foot. When you're ready to land, let go of your grab, extend, so that you can absorb your landing. Three keys to this trick are maintaining a low center of gravity, concentrating on the movement of your front arm, and springing off your tail. Now I'm going to show you front side air to fakies. This is a really important setup trick.
keep a lot of speed. Uh, you want to take off relatively the same way you take off for a backside or Samson method. So as you're coming up the transition, you want to start to lean back. As you reach the lip, you want to pop off. With your hands, you're going to also throw it into a bit of a pop. Bring your hands up to your board, try and get some sort of a grab. And the method is usually the easiest to learn. So as you're coming in for your landing, you want to, sp you want to spot your landing and suck your knees up to meet the transition so you can prepare for your next year. One of the best ways to increase height is uh, increasing your speed, and to do that, uh, you have to increase the angle on which you attack the pipe. As you're coming up the tranny at more of an angle, you're going to take off and travel further down the pipe. This allows you to come in with more speed into the next air. Three keys to getting height in the pipe are pump your transition, maintain a greater angle, and travel further down the pipe. 